Hey guys, I'm uh, going to do a unpacking video here in the spare room. Hopefully the fan noise and Odin panning aren't too loud because uh, it's 82 degrees so it's pretty warm. But uh, I just got back from an overnighter to Grass Pond in the uh, Adirondack Mountains, the northern part of the Adirondack Park. Uh, just outside of Paul Smith's New York. Uh, check out the video for that. But right now I'm going to unpack my ULA Ulm 2.0. As you can see, it is pretty stuffed. But that is 90%, I would say, my underquilts. And I was completely shocked by that. Um, how much room those were going to take up. They're, they're the synthetic ones from... Um, Arrowhead Equipment. Uh, it's the New River Underquilt. That's the regular length. And then I have a short uh, Owie He Top Quilt. Uh, both three season. Very very bulky. Um, I wasn't so worried much about the weight, but this the pack's about 22 pounds with food and fuel for, for the overnight. So let's, let's get inside here. Got the Spot Gen 3 on the outside. Haven't checked the track on that yet. I don't know how well that did. Um, but I have a uh, Frog Tog Ultralight green jacket. That weighs next to nothing. Didn't need that. Good to have though. Food bag. That's just a Walmart outdoor products bag. And I get inside of here is the trash compactor trick. But as you can see, the trash compactor bag is completely stuffed full. So I can't even close the trash compactor bag. There's some dirty clothes. There's the War Bonnet Blackbird with webbing suspension. I'll take that out later. I don't only think I need to air it out or anything, but. Then we've got my undercoat coming out. Top quilt. Got down to the mid 50s on the trip and that was plenty comfortable. And down the bottom, I just got my sleep shorts, a pair of socks. This is a t-shirt I hiked in. I have a long sleeve shirt that I slept in, but I wore that at home. And then just last thing in there is my plastic bag. So around I got my water bottles of course on the shoulder straps. Worked out well. All that left in that one. I kept this um, little Accurite thermometer on my sternum strap. Right now it seems to be okay, but while we were out there, it, uh, if you touch the bottom of it, it shorts out. So I'm not, I don't know how. Yeah, see, there it goes. Uh, if you can see that, but when you, when you just kind of tap the bottom, see how it. I don't know what's going on there. Didn't cost very much, but still, it should work. From, that's the first time I've used it. Um, had my my Mora knife on the belt, waist belt. I think that's called the companion. I'm not sure. In the waist belt pocket, I had extra batteries for my Gen 3 or my headlamp. I had an extra battery for my phone, didn't need that, cable, had the Xiaomi Yi camera, I didn't take that out at all, I'm too busy talking, and some extra batteries for my GPS unit. In this pocket, of course I had the bandana through the back. 
I almost thought that I had some deep. See the summit mosquito head net? Didn't use that. Um, my pack, my big curl pack hanger that I made with the Dutch hook. Didn't use that. And the rain cover for my own. Didn't use that. I'm going to leave that right in there so I don't lose it. Um, in the side webbing, whatever you want to call it, straps here, I had my Ultra Pod with an attachment for my iPhone. Um, I did use that quite a bit. Gloves, didn't use those. Well, I did, I did use those. There's a lot of pine pitch. Um, my Super Cell saw. Used those because right where I hung my hammock, somebody had cut off two trees at an angle, and they were basically stakes in to spear somebody. So I'll trim those off. The Garmin E-Trex 20. I had that hanging from my neck the whole time. wasn't really in the pack. But just. And then here is my cook kit. And I've gone over that in other videos. My steak bag, which also doubled as... I accidentally had an extra steak in there, which was weird, but... Uh, my steak bag, which also doubled as my rock throw bag for my bear bag hanging system. It's the first time I tried doing, doing the PCT style uh, bear bag hanging, and it got, it got caught up, so... I'm not sure what I did wrong, but it may be that, that I use that lash it or zing it, whatever it's called. I need to look that up because I can never remember. But um, then I think that stuff's off a little grippy, so maybe I need something else. Have my uh, edge tarp from Warbonnet in snakes and snake skins from Mountain Goat. That was on the side over here on this thing. And then down here is my water kit. That's a Sawyer Mini, and I had two two-liter bags. Uh, we took those down to the creek about half a mile away. Filled those up. Had a beanie. Used that during the night. And I had, um, in addition to the one ounce of fuel, I got my stove. I had eight ounces of fuel in this little Vargo bottle. Uh, and a oh, front pouch. Front pouch. Front pouch. My Cozy with the gusseted bottom following Demeter's video. Check that out if you want to have a nice bottom on your Cozy so it can stand upright. Works out good. Demeter has got a video. I'll link to her. Uh, ultralight sit pad from Dutch. Use that quite a bit. Lucy Emerge. This is the small inflatable solar lantern from Lucy. I've got some complaints about this. Um, I'll maybe do a separate video on that later. I was kind of disappointed in that, actually. Uh, first aid kit. Mat. Didn't need that. Knew where I was going. Tyvek uh, ground mat. And hygiene kit with some extra matches and my medications. And 25 extra foot of lashes in it. Whatever. And that is it. Like I said, it was about 22 pounds um, with food and water. So, hope that uh, you guys like that, and we'll uh, see you later.